Hey everybody and welcome to the Pedal Zone and welcome to another edition of Faves, where it's time to look at my five favorite PT2399 delay pedals. And <laughs> no, that wasn't me trying to curse you all with weird mathematical spells. So before we get into it, let me just quickly explain what a PT2399 delay actually is. Back in the late 90s, Princeton Technology made the 2399 CMOS Echo Delay chip, a very simple integrated delay circuit, which with its limited 30 milliseconds to 340 milliseconds of delay time, was originally designed for adding slapback delay and reverberating sounds to karaoke machines and set up entertainment systems. This chip quickly found its way into the burgeoning pedal scene though for three simple reasons. One, it just sounds great. Even though it's 100% digital, this simple chip can get very close to the warm analog tones of the 70s and 80s without the hassle of messing with bucket brigade biasing or actual tapes. That's why you often see PT2399 delays marketed as either lo-fi or analog sounding or vintage inspired digital delays. Two, convenience. There was of course other digital delay chips out there at the time, but they often required external memory or clock or microcontrollers to gain full functionality. So the fact that everything needed to create a delayed sound was contained within the PT2399 and the fact that it was so readily available and actually affordable made it an instant go-to for pedal designers. Three, the modifier's delight. The original data sheet included by Princeton Technology on how the chip actually works and operates was extremely vague, which quickly saw the DIY pedal scene find their own unique ways to implement, filter, overclock and modify this circuit. The chip was also way smaller than the other options out there, making it easier to develop uh, better analog frames around it, which is why you often see PT2399 delays sport way longer delay times than the intended uh, 340 milliseconds as well as unique multi-shape modulation sections, uh, analog distortion circuits, effects loops, as well as chaotic self-oscillation buttons. All right, now you know exactly as much as I do about the PT2399 and how its simplicity revolutionized an entire industry. So let's finally move on to my five favorite delay pedals based on this simple little delay chip. The Death by Audio Echo Dream 2. This absolute weirdo of a delay lets you go from warm echoes to completely mangled and destroyed delays due to Death by Audio massively overclocking the PT2399. And with its built-in analog fuzz circuit and crazy modulation section, this delay should be every experimentalist and noise head's dream device. The Solid Gold FX Electroman Mark II. If you're looking for gooey, warm, analog delay tones, but want more features and stability than an actual Bucket Brigade delay, then the Electroman Mark II is a no-brainer. It utilizes two PT2399 chips in order to give you long, washy delays with low noise, lovely modulation and cool momentary sustain and oscillation features.
Caroline guitar company Kilobyte. With the Kilobyte, the Caroline gang made a delay that evokes the memories of playing a deluxe memory man for the first time. It's warm, but retains a percussive and musical presence, while its simple modulation circuit adds a stunning tape-like sway to it all. And with its analog gain circuit and self-oscillation switch, you can create worlds of distorted and alien textures. The Jupiter FX FanV. The FanV uses two overclocked 2399 chips in order to serve up a dual delay echoing bubbly space echo-like tape tones of yesteryear. It also features a switch that quickly lets you jump between two different delay time settings, plus an oscillation switch for instant noisy chaos. Earthquaker device's space spiral. Jamie Stillman's amazing filtering of the PT2399 makes the space spiral a very crisp and percussive tape-like delay. While its highly versatile modulation section lets you create everything from slow tape warbles to dramatic pitch effects. On top of that, it has a super cool and musical self-oscillation that never gets out of hand.
I know I only promised five pedals, but I just want to give a really quick shout out to my friend Willem from Home Noise Effects, who makes pedals right here in Aarhus, where I live. And he makes absolutely killer small batch PT2399 pedal designs. Like this Black Lodge right here, which houses a, a modulated delay on the one side and a dark reflecting reverb on the other. And the reverb is actually based on the Belton brick, which is three cascading PT2399 chips in one. But we'll leave the story about that particular chip for another day. everybody that was all I had for you about this pivotal pedal chip today I hope you learned something I hope you enjoyed the sounds and I hope you want to leave a comment a like or even share the video with your friends if you liked it um, but even more so I just truly hope that I get to see you all again in the next video bye <laughs>